Well, we talked about margin and padding, but I think both are very important, but I wanted to experiment with some padding, so if you're one of those people that just kind of watches and doesn't do it, maybe maybe seeing a couple of things again would help you out, help you remember the concept. So here we go. What I want to do is I want to move my title down and to the, to the uh, left a bit, maybe throw some text in here. And uh, so I need some garbage text. And a great place to go for garbage text is laurenipsum.com. Yep, and that's what they do. They generate garbage text. So uh, I just want a little bit. So I'm just going to generate one paragraph here. Generate lorem ipsum. They're going to give me a paragraph, and I'm just going to copy it. This is nice if you have a project you're working on and you uh, just need some text. So now I go in here. And I'm going to put this text in the blue box. So to do that, I'm just going to go into my code, find my content box, paste in my lorem ipsum, and I'm going to copy some of that. I don't need all of it, but I'm going to take some of it. Let's see, I'm trying to copy, and it's not being friendly, so let's copy this. And let's paste a little bit into my left bar, and that should do it for me. I'm in design mode. You can see my text here. And how about if I take my CSS designer panel, and I'm going to come up here and click buildstyles.css. I want to find my content. And sure, like last time, here's margin padding, that good stuff. If I scroll down far enough, I'll find background color, and I want to change that maybe to a gray. So let's, uh, I'm going to move Dreamweaver over this way a little bit, move my con designer panel over here, because uh, now I want to change where this text shows up for content. And of course, that would be a job perhaps for padding. Definitely in this situation, it would be a padding job. So I want my text to come down and to the left. So I'm going to go to padding with, uh, with content selected down here. Here's padding. Let's bring it down. Let's bring it down. I'm going to bring it down 15 pixels. Now again, if you addeth padding you must take it away so I'm going to take I'm going to add padding so I have to take height down 15 pixels that would be 385 and there it goes down this adds some padding to the left I'm going to add 15 pixels of padding over there and if you add it you must take it away from the width or height so this would come down to 545, 545. I'm good to go. And you notice when before I added, before I adjusted the width, my right bar just totally went away. And this adds some uh, padding over here to my left side. So I'm going to go into my panel, my CSS designer panel. Select the left bar, and let's move it down. We'll add some padding here. I'm going to take that down 15 pixels. I go to height, and I'm going to make that 385. And let's add some padding on the left. We'll add 15 pixels, and we'll take away 15 pixels from the width to make this 85 pixels. I'm good to go there. And there you go. And let's come up to the top. We'll just go up into the header. And uh, we want to bring high there down and to the left. So 
I'm going to bring it down. I might bring it down 30 pixels. And our height is only 100, so that means I'm going to have to 30 pixels, 100, take off 30. There you go. And let's add some padding to the left. I'm going to put 30 pixels in there, and that's going to take my width down to 770. So there you go. We're using the CSS Designer panel to help us visually see what's going on. We can go to any of these sides here, add padding. We can see our width and height. We're doing our math. We're giving and we're taking it away, and it's a good world with margins and padding.